thing you'll need to be able to do in PowerShell is accept input from someone who is perhaps running a script. Uh, one way to do that is the read host commandlet. Just give it a prompt. Notice that you don't need to put a colon at the end of your prompt because it will do it automatically. Whatever the person types is placed into the pipeline. So in that case, because there was nothing after read host, the pipeline output just showed up on the command. It's probably more common that you're going to want to put that into a variable. So I'll create a variable and set it equal to read host. This time when I enter the computer name, the results of this command are placed into the variable name computer name. So now if I look at the contents of computer name, you'll see that the server-r2 input was placed into that variable. Now each different application that hosts PowerShell determines for itself how read host is implemented. Here in the text console, the read host command displays a text prompt, allows you to type a response, and press enter to have your response accepted. In the Windows PowerShell ISE, or integrated scripting environment, things work a little bit differently. Read host. Here, the prompt is displayed as a pop-up dialog box. When you click OK, then the response is placed into the pipeline. Now, in this case, I didn't assign it to a variable, so the response just showed up here on the command line. So any individual application that's hosting PowerShell can change the way that read host behaves slightly.